So, in the last script that we wrote from the previous section, we added a new column to our CSV files, which contained the name of the station for each row. In this lecture, I'll write a script that will concatenate all these files into a single CSV file. The reason I'll do this is that I want to create um, a summary statistics and pivot tables out of this data, so it's good to have them in a single file. So I'll go ahead and create the concatenation function now. Call it uh, concatenate and we input the directory where the files to be concatenated are located. And I'll specify the output file path here. And as usual, let's set the current working directory to the input directory. And generate a list of CSV files using the glob method. Now, the way we will be concatenating the data frames is by first stacking these uh, data frames into a simple Python list. So we will store the data frames to a list, because remember, we can store every kind of Python object in, uh, in a list, including data frames. And after we have finished storing all the data frames in the list, we will pass the list to the concatenate pandas method. And the concatenate method will generate a single data frame out of all the least data frames. So before uh, starting the loop, we need to create an empty list object. So let's say uh, df list equals to empty square brackets, and that creates an empty list for us. And then we want to iterate through the file list. Now let's print out each file name as the loop goes forward. So this is just to check how the script execution is, is going. And then we want to generate a data frame out of this file. And we have no header in our CSV files. And once I have generated a data frame, I append this data frame to my empty list. So the first iteration will add the first data frame to the empty list. Uh, the second loop will append the second data frame to the list which already has one data frame, and so on. And here is where we end the loop. Uh, so we just need the data frame list from the loop. After that, we don't need to iterate anymore, so we don't indent here. Uh, here is where we want to concatenate all these data frames. So let's name the variable concatdf, and uh, that is equal to pandas concat and uh, in the concat method we will pass the data frame list and the axis because we want our data frame our data frames to be concatenated vertically we pass zero in the axis now we are ready to export the united data frame to a new big csv file but before we do just that i would like to actually name the columns of the data frame. If you go to the pyclass.com FTP site where we have gotten our files, and then you go to the data folder, near the end you will notice a file named data-format.txt. Uh, this file explains the structure of the files we have been concatenating. If, uh, if you open this, you will see the specifications of the columns. So what I'll do now is keep this file open and create a Python list with the names of these columns. Then I'll insert this list as a header to my concatenated data frame. So I'll create that list first and I have to put it outside the loop. So let's say uh, call names equals two. And then we have year, month, day, hour, temp for temperature, and dew temp, pressure, we have wind direction, wind speed, and sky, precipitation, uh, precipitation again. And lastly, remember that we added another field to our files in the previous section of the course. And that field was the station name, so I'll add the another name here. Uh, let's call it ID. 
So the ID column will store the, the station IDs. And then it is very easy to add this list as a header. Just before exporting the concatenated data frame to a CSV file, I want to write the name of the data frame, the columns method, and then pass the list containing the column names to the method. That's it. Uh, let's go ahead and export the data frame to a CSV file now. So the data frame to CSV and we pass in the file path which we define in the function parameters. Uh, we have no index. We do have a header now. <laughs> we do have a header now, <laughs> yes. So we will let the to CSV method to infer that header from the first row of our data frame. Uh, that's our good looking function. I'll run it now and then call it from within IPython. And let's check the final CSV file now. So we have a complete file that contains weather data for multiple years and for multiple stations as well. That's good.